We each got one right in a row. These things are just awesome. Oh boy. up here at another lake now. This one has some hard Arctic grain. Hope we're gonna get into a couple of them here. Just casted this one out. Biggest grayling. I think it is. Yeah. I got a backup plan. Holy smokes, bro. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see this. Check this guy out. Holy smokes. That's what we come after. Large Arctic grayling. He inhaled this worm too. We're going to take a few of these home for dinner. These things are awesome. Maybe I'll do a catch and cook for you guys on this channel. and See what you guys think about that. That thing is just massive. Usually we catch them on flies up here. But that is by far the biggest grayling I've ever caught. I don't even know how long that is. I wonder if I got my tape measure. Oh, oh, oh. Right below us, dude. Another grayling. Must be a female, don't have no blue. Nice, nice fish. Well, guys, didn't realize the camera shut off. Sorry about that. I got one, and my brother, he doubled up with me. We each got one, right in a row. These things are just awesome. Yeah, you guys missed out on that one. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh. And it's gone. No, oh, not quite. Huh? I thought you had him unhooked already. Check that out. Gotta love grayling. Yep. Now, gosh dang time, I got another one. this time guys. Sorry if the wind bugging you. Alright guys, I'm here to talk to you on the gear we use to catch these arctic grayling. Today I was using my bait cast rod. It's set up with 14 pound test. Fire line. We got a leader. I put a leader on. 4 pound test leader. And just monofilament. And sometimes fluorocarbon works really well. Eventually, we did switch to 8 pound test fluorocarbon because I kept breaking this off. Not that the fish were over 4 pounds, but I was trying to horse them around too much for this. 
Um, we caught some of them on flies. And I'll show you guys this little nymph right here. Here it is. So the majority of them we caught on this little black copper joan. It works wonders up there. I'm, I'm here to tell you this thing is just awesome. It really is. And sometimes a print snip is good. Sometimes um, just something with some shine in it. A shiny woolly worm, shiny woolly bugger. I don't understand why, but they really like shiny stuff. There was a bunch of scuds in the lake. We could see them clear as day. So maybe give that a try. I caught a bunch of them on worms as well. And maybe give that a try. It might do pretty good and hopefully you guys can get into some gravy. All right, so all you guys need for this recipe is some aluminum foil and some butter and some onion powder and some lemon pepper. That should get you guys started. All right, guys, so I'm gonna put a couple pieces of butter in this. Maybe I'll do one per fish. Give them some lemon pepper. And then some onion powder. Then we're gonna wrap these up and grill them. All right, we're gonna throw these guys on the grill. Give them a few minutes, probably about six or seven. They should be done by then. Grayling, they're one of my favorite fish to eat. They by far have a way different taste than trout. Most people don't like trout, and where this is in a cold water lake, the, I feel like a lot of people assume, oh, these these taste like trout. They don't, they don't have a single bit of closeness. So, we're gonna give those guys a few minutes and then do the final taste test. See what happens. All right guys, so I just pulled the first one off the grill. I got the other two there cooling and they are done. I don't know if you guys can see that very well. They are done. Like I said, you only want to leave them on here for for sure no more than 10 minutes. Medium high heat, just about perfect. I'm going to go ahead and shut this guy off. Cool. Hope you guys enjoy that. We're gonna give these guys a taste here shortly and see how they turned out.